Okay, I'm going to try to show how I did the mirror because somebody asked how I did it. So I'm going to type in square because I need a square for a background. Just now, why isn't that working? Tried to do my images again. I already have them selected down here. That's a square, this one here. And then I'll type in frozen. And I purchased these four images to do the mirror. Elsa is the easiest one to show you. So First thing is I'm going to take the square and move it up and make it large. I am going to ungroup the square and I'm going to delete the outer purple square because I don't need it. And then I'm going to select the red square and duplicate it because I want two of them. This one will shrink and just put it off to the side because I don't need it yet. Elsa will move her up here make her large so you can see what I'm doing. Part of my hand is in the way. Um, so Elsa, we're gonna move her to the, well, we'll click on this square, move it to the back, and click on this square, and move it to the back so that Elsa's character pieces are all up at the top. So now we're gonna click on Elsa and ungroup and I'm gonna click on this eyeball so that we can see, right now it's hidden, but we're gonna click on the eyeball so that we can see the gray background. So now you have, I didn't ungroup them. Let's ungroup it now, sorry. So now they're all individual pieces. Her arm, her dress, or her waist, whatever the lips, eyes, and so forth. So we're gonna go down here to the gray piece and delete it because we don't need that. And we're gonna click on the black outer outline piece here. And we're gonna duplicate that. So now we have two. And I'm going to click it and move it to the back. Oh. Let's undo that because I'll, I'll keep it up front so I'll move it on top. Okay, so now it's covering all of the images, the separated ones. We'll move it to the far back. So now it's at the very bottom of the list. Well, it's at the very bottom of the list, sorry. So this black image here if you can see over here is the outline or the background so we're just gonna click highlight the background and then highlight the next image up and we're gonna hit slice once that slices um, you're gonna scroll all the way up to the screen because now you have the hair I believe that's the hair that was sliced yeah so we're gonna delete that and we're, you're not gonna be able to see anything at first, but it'll all make sense. So there's the background. You can see it's a little bit more distorted than um, the other background was. It has pieces missing. So click that, highlight it, make sure you have it selected, and then control or however you need to do it to select two at once. And then you hit slice again with the next piece down Okay, and then you click on the piece that you just sliced, which would be the outline, and you delete it. So you see all of the blue is stuff that's not sliced yet. Um, I'm sorry, is the, I'm not sure how it works, but 
you'll see it all will all work out and it'll keep changing colors according to the pieces that we select so we're going to select that select that and slice i hope this is making sense and if you hear any noises my husband's home from work so i apologize I'm not doing any voiceover because I don't know how to do it. I'm just recording this with my iPhone the best of my ability. Select lips, select that body, and slice. I'm going to try to get this done quickly so that you can see. And slicing. And select the lips and delete. Select the eyes, the body, slice. And slicing. I'm recording a video. Oops. Take the eyes. And we're going to delete them. Take the body, the sliced body image, and the next piece down and hit slice. Okay, and we click that image and delete it. Okay, and then we're left with these eyes. I just delete them because I don't know what to do with them. They don't fit in the image for me. Then you hit slice, and this is the last piece to slice. Well, the last piece of the character anyways. Okay, and click on that piece that we just sliced, and delete. Now we have this. I don't know what this is, but I just deleted it because I don't need it. So now we have the sliced image. And we have the piece, the black, the first or the duplicated background. You click that, click the sliced image and slice again. Maybe. Okay. And Cricket is not responding. Go figure. Okay, now it's sliced. I'm going to make this larger so you can see what I'm going to do here. So if you click on one of the images, you can slide it over. And you can either... Oops, let's delete that. That didn't work. Let's do undo. Undo, undo, undo. There. So then I take this image in the square and slice them. You don't have to do that, but that's just a step that I do so I can see the exact finished piece, what it'll look like on the mirror. This is a nine minute, 10 minute long video once it's done probably, but oh well. And Cricket's not responding again. It's sliced. So we can delete this piece. We don't need it. And we can delete this. And we're going to take this square. We're going to change it 
we're going to change this piece to white. We're going to change this square to black. We're going to put this square up here behind the white and drag it down so you can see that this all of this black will be the etched piece that will show up in the mirror. And that's how you do it.